I think theater in general is supposed to capture what people are experiencing now, but in a way that transcends time. Montclair was actually really great with helping me find what I wanted to do in a way that wasn't telling me what I wanted to do. And so I chose a, an audio technician position. I'm excited that I'm in such an advancing field, advancing so rapidly that I'm, I'm very excited to see all the things that we're gonna be able to do. The thing that I really liked working with Free Speak 2 when I got my hands on it in the demo was the fact that it was so intuitive, is that I could take one look at it and all of the, all of the menus made sense. I, I just had to take one look at it and I knew what everything did. All of the cascading menus um, make so much sense. It's, it's very easy to follow and that's why it's so easy to program so quickly. You don't have to spend like 10 hours programming your comm. It should be easy, it should be fast, you know. As soon as everything was up and powered on and I saw the interface, as soon as I knew what all of the categories were and, and as soon as he explained what groups were, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I can actually group things and they can talk to each other separately and then there's like, you can have 12 groups, you can have um, tons of different belt packs grouped into different things. And I was like, oh, okay, this actually makes a lot of sense. Our first show of the semester last year was Carrie the Musical, and anybody who knows Carrie is, it's full of special effects. Not only was it really useful, but it was it's so versatile that you can specifically program it for any show that you need. With the wireless system that we had, we had um, two wireless transmitters. We had one up in the booth, and we had one um, up in the catwalk, so they were, uh, they covered basically the entire theater, and I put on a belt pack, and my uh, friend Matt put on a belt pack, and we walked as far away from the theater as we possibly could have. We basically got to the next building before the communication cut out, and I remember Cliff saying, oh yeah, like, one will cover the theater. One covers more than just the theater. <laughs> so they could have run and gotten a snack and still been able to talk to the stage manager. What I saw with Abigail, which was very fascinating, is, is she already knew. Before we even touched the equipment, she knew what she wanted to do. And then as we described the enhancements um, that this system provided, you can see the light go on inside her. And you can see her seeing the possibilities very quickly and in real time. And to see the interaction that Abigail had with the system and her ability to configure it as she wanted it, that to me was you know, the, the success that we were looking for. Not having to read a manual is one of our objectives, is that the interface is intuitive enough where you, know, it, you, you can configure, you can learn it just by uh, looking at the interface. We should all celebrate the people that are coming up and you know, pay it forward, so to speak. I like technology so much, but I'm also a very arts-oriented person. I come from a very artsy family, so I feel like um, the arts and technology um, is bridged in theater. Um, I think that having Free Speak 2 was, it was another thing that I didn't have to worry about, and it was another thing that was added to like a list of equipment that I had fun playing with. 